Another big topic tonight. What will Charlotte look like in 2040? Today, city leaders presenting their newest plan for the Queen City development. The draft covering issues like zoning and affordable housing, and it reflects input from the community from over the past three years. WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Signs has more on what people should know about this 2040 plan. It's a 300 plus page guide, a roadmap as to how the Queen City will be developed over the next two decades. We have to be thinking into the future. On Thursday, a city assistant manager alongside the mayor pro tem released the newest draft with new changes and additions, including the single family zoning, uptown towers and how to do it all while limiting gentrification. As we develop and, and uh, grow fast as a city, we have to look at different ways by which uh, we can do business. In the plan, duplexes and triplexes will be able to be built in all place types, including where single family houses are, hoping to increase density as the city grows. The 400,000 people that are going to move here in the next 20 years, where are we going to put them? It's been met with some criticism, though, from some who believe it will raise house prices or lead to more gentrification. The city can't promise displacement won't happen. I will not use the word promise, but I will use the word protect. To help fight displacement, the plan includes the creation of an anti-displacement commission and an anti-displacement strategy. The plan also says any new tower in Uptown that's built over 30 stories should provide community benefits like affordable housing or public space, leaving up the details to a case by case basis. Of course, we want new businesses to feel that they can move to Charlotte and build a building and employ people in Charlotte Hunter signs WCNC Charlotte.